Hi friends, it's Miss Thomas and I am back again today with you, which I'm always so excited to see. I have my friend Brownie back again because he loves to learn like you love to learn as well, okay? Well, we are going to be doing a reading lesson for our pre-K friends. Are you ready to get started? You are? Give me a thumbs up if you are ready to get started. Well, we always are going to start off with a song. Yeah, I like singing. I hope you like singing. And Brownie, he especially likes singing. Well, we're going to sing our song, The More We Get Together. I think you know it. And if you don't know it, it's okay. Join along. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now this part of the song, we get to add some friends' names, okay? You can add your friends' names and I'm gonna add my friends' name. We're just gonna add some friends' names. Are you ready? Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause Kendra and Asia, Belinda and Kennedy, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now this time, you get to sing with me and Brownie, okay? Let's go for it. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Ta-da! Yeah, singing makes us feel good. And because Miss Thomas is one of those crazy teachers, you're gonna enjoy singing too. But before we get started with our reading pre-kindergarten lesson, let's check out our objectives that we're gonna be learning today, okay? Are you ready to help me out, Brownie? I think he is. Well, friends, our objectives are we're going to review our uppercase and our lowercase letters. We're gonna also identify the letter sounds those letters make. We're gonna use some more words and more some vocabulary to make sure that we are increasing our knowledge of words. And one last thing we're gonna do, we are going to be persistent at solving problems. So we're gonna do an activity today on how to solve a problem. Yes, we do solve problems in reading pre-K. So let's get started. I'm gonna put Brownie down. I'm gonna grab the letters and we are going to do some gestures to help you remember your letters and your letter sounds. Are we ready? All right, I'm gonna put him right here. Gonna put him down. I'm gonna move our objectives way down over here because we're gonna use this open space in just a little bit. All right, let's go for our first letter, okay? Our first letter is letter a letter a good and a says ah like you're a baby because babies cry ah 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 good that is for letter a okay gonna sit that right there the next letter is letter b b like the baby is um sucking on his bottle so you're gonna get the baby bottle turn it up and we're gonna go buh buh like the baby wants his bottle. Buh, buh. Awesome. Let's go to our next letter. Our next letter is letter C. Yes, letter C. Letter C, we're going to get our hammer in our hand, and we're going to hit the nail three times. K, k, k. That's the sound and the gesture for letter C. Okay, let's do another one. We have letter D. Letter D. You know when sometimes people say some crazy things and we go, duh, I knew that. That's going to be the sound for letter D. We're going to take two fingers, put it on the top of your head. We're going to go, duh, duh, duh. I always like trying to say those sounds three times. The sound for letter D. Okay, let's do another letter. Here is letter E, uppercase E, lowercase E. For letter E, you're going to take two fingers, you're going to put it right in the middle of your throat and we're going to make the sound like there's an egg in there. We're going to go eh, eh, eh. 
Yes, that's the sound for letter E. Good. All right. Here's our next letter. Letter F. Okay, I got to put the letters down to help you out. For letter F, you know how cats get scared and they hunch their back up and they say that crazy noise? That's what letter F is going to do. We're going to say, for letter F, can you do it with me? Let's go. Awesome. That was the sound and the gesture for letter F. Okay. Here we go. We have letter G. Yes, letter G. You're going to get a glass of water. Ready? And we're going to pretend that we're going to drink the water all the way down, making three gulping sounds. G, g, g. That's for letter G. Mm -hmm. Next, we have letter H. The sound for letter H is we're going to hold our hand up and we're going to pretend we're going to let some hot air out of our mouth. You ready? That's the sound and the gesture for letter H. Okay? Move on. Let's do letter I. Yes, letter I. I'm going to sit this down for letter I. Letter I is like an itchy sound. And it kind of itches on your hand. So we say, eh, eh, for letter I. Like you're scratching. That's the gesture and the sound for letter I. Okay? Letter J. Uppercase J, lowercase J. I'm going to put the letters down again. Letter J sounds like it has a jackhammer, like you're at a construction site and you hear that noise from that machine that goes, J -j 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 -j. that's the sound letter J makes. Yes, but we're just going to do it three times. J -j -j. That's the sound and the gesture for what letter, friends? Letter J, yes. All right, let's go to the next letter sound. The next letter is letter K. Letter K just like the letter C sound. We're going to get our hammer and we're going to hit that nail three times. You ready? Let's go. K, k, k. Awesome. That's the sound and the gesture for letter K. All right. Let's do letter L. Letter L. We're going to make an L with our finger, uppercase L with our fingers. We have the uppercase L and then we have the lowercase L part. And the, and the sound and the gesture for letter L is uh, your tongue goes to the top of your mouth, the roof of your mouth. So we say uh, for letter L, all right? Okay, let's keep moving. Now we have the letter M, Miss Thomas' favorite letter in the whole wide world, letter M. So letter M, you're going to rub on your stomach like something is good to you. Like my shirt says, feeling good. That's what letter M says. Mmm. That's the gesture for letter M. Mmm. All right. The next letter sound is letter N. Yes, letter N. We're going to put two fingers on the top of our nose. Don't squeeze hard. We're just going to hold it there. It's like a nosy sound. Mmm, for letter N. Mmm, good. Okay, let's do our next one. We have letter O. Letter O, I think this is my favorite sound because we can sing letter O like an opera singer. So I like to raise my hand up like I'm getting ready to sing and I say, ah, and I cut it off. Can you do letter O with me? You ready? Let's do it. Ah, uh, and we cut it off. Letter O. So I have a favorite letter name and I have a favorite letter sound. All right, here we have letter P. Letter P, we're going to get our pinchers for letter P and it's like we're going to pick the popcorn up. So we're going to say, P, 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 P. Good. Can you do that? Go for it. P, 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 P. Awesome. All right. Here is letter Q. Yes, letter Q makes like a squishy sound. We're going to put our hands together and we're going to squish the letter Q. Yes, that's the sound and the gesture for letter Q. All right, let's go on to the next one. We have letter R. Yes, letter R. Letter R, you got to poke your lips out. And we're going to pretend that we're pulling on a not-so-nice dog, but he's not really mean either. He's, we're pulling on his collar, and he's growling. He's going, 
Remember to always poke your lips out for letter R. Letter R is not er, like your lip is going crazy. No, you poke them out at Miss Thomas, and then you get to say the sound. There you go. All right. Letter S, letter S. The sound for letter S is like the air is going out of your tire. So we're gonna let the air go out, you ready? Yes, that's the sound for letter S. You wanna try it again? Cause it's a cool sound. You ready? Let the air go out of your tire. Yes, that's the sound for letter S. Okay, let's do another letter sound. For letter T, the sound for letter T is, we're gonna get our drumsticks and we're not gonna tap on the drums, we're gonna tap on the cymbals that are on the drums. So we're gonna go t t t t t t t That's the sound for letter T and the gesture for letter T. All right, let's do letter U. Letter U, the gesture for letter U is like someone hits you in your stomach and you go, uh. That's the sound for letter U. Can you do it with Miss Thomas? Like someone hit you in the stomach? Uh, one more time. Uh, good job. That's for letter U. All right, let's look at this one. Letter V, the sound for letter V. Well, it's like we're gonna ride on the motorcycle. We have the handles of our motorcycle and we're gonna rev it up. So we say, vroom, vroom. Good, one more time, you ready? Mmm, good for letter V. All right, now we have the sound for letter W. Yes, uppercase W, lowercase W. But be careful not to confuse that M and W together, okay? This is W, and W is like we're gonna get the windshield wiper and we're just gonna wipe back and forth. Be careful not to say wuh, wuh. No, it's just a regular sound. Good, like you waving at Miss Thomas. All right, we have the next sound for letter X. Yes, for letter X, all we're gonna do is make an X with our hand. We're gonna go like we Xing it out. You ready? Let's try that sound because that's a fun gesture for letter X. You ready? Let's do it together. Yes, I love it, friends. I love it. Letter X. Okay, let's do the next letter. Letter Y, yes, uppercase Y, lowercase Y. When we let a Y sound, it's like we're gonna be yanking on something, we're gonna be pulling something, and we're gonna use the, the sound for that. The sound and the gesture is yeah, pull it again, yeah. One more time, you do it with me this time, you ready? Let's say it, yeah, yeah, good, you're pulling on something. And then our last letter is letter Z. For letter Z, you know how bees make buzzing sounds? Well, we're gonna pretend we got a little bee and he's gonna be buzzing his sound for letter Z. And his sound goes zzzz. So the bee is going everywhere doing the letter Z sound. Zzzz. Good job, can you do that crazy fun sound with Miss Thomas for letter Z? You can? Well, come on and do it with me again. Zzzz. Awesome, yes. Good job. Give yourselves a hand clap. That was a lot. But guess what? You can do it. Yes, you can do it. So that's all our letter sounds. Now we're going to focus on one letter for today. Okay, last week or last time I was with you, we did letter U together. We did. We did letter U together. And remember letter U like you punch someone in the stomach? We go, uh, uh. And so we went over some pictures that begin with the letter U sound. We have the picture what? Got it, yes, umbrella. Remember the baby, he's not mad, he's what? He's upset, someone made him upset. All right, let's go over here to this one here, friends. Where is that arrow pointing to? You got it, it's pointing up. So we have the arrow going up for uh, uh. All right, then these are the clothes we wear under our clothes. They're called Underwear, I'm so glad you remembered. Yes, underwear. Now we have a picture of a what right here? What do you think that is? Yes, a unicorn. He says the name, you. And then we have utensils. These are the things that we use to eat with. 
utensils. So these are all the pictures that begin with letter U the last time I was with you. Well, this time today, we are gonna focus on, you ready? We're gonna focus on the letter P. Let me see if I can find the letter P. Do you remember what the letter P sound says? You do? Do you remember the gestures too? You do? Awesome. Okay, get your pinchers. There's our letter P. Yes, we're gonna get our pinchers and we're gonna go P, 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 P. There you go, yes. So let's look at some of the pictures that begin with letter P or that has the very first sound and first letter of P. This guy here, you can find him on a farm. He goes, right? Yes, he's a what, friends? Yes, he's a pig. Let's go down to our next picture. We use this to paint with like in school or at home. This is called paint. Paint says P, P, P. Look at the food we like to eat. Do you like pizza? I like pizza. Pizza says P, P, yes. All right, let's look at this guy here. He's orange and round. Do you know what he is? Yes, he's a pumpkin. Absolutely a pumpkin. Well, here's an animal that lives where it's very, very cold. This is a penguin. Yes, a penguin. All right, let's see this guy right here. If some of you guys say a dog, he is a dog, but what is a baby dog called? Yes, a baby dog is called a puppy. P -p puppy, yes. And here's a food that you like to eat. They're kind of sour. A pickle, yes, a pickle begins with letter P. All right, so let's go over the P pictures again. You ready? Let's go. Pig, good. Your turn. Paint, awesome. Your turn. Pizza, your turn. Pumpkin, your turn. Penguin, your turn. Puppy, your turn. Pickle, congratulations. We are talking about the letter P. The sound for letter P, get those pinchers again, it's what? P, P, P. Good, with that being said, how about we write a message today? How about we write a message? I'm gonna sit my papers down here and I'm gonna pull my little board up so that we can write a message together. Yes, a message together, a message. I'm gonna get my black marker so you guys can see it. I always like saying with you guys, good morning, friends. So I'm always gonna start with what kind of letter? Yes, a uppercase letter. Good. Because remember, what I think I can say, and what I can say, I can read it and write it. Good morning. Look at those letters, how Miss Thomas is writing those letters. Remember, we write and we read from left to right. Good morning, school friends. Good, good morning, school friends. There we go, are you almost finished writing, school friend? Now, I'm done writing my sentence. Now, can you tell me, how do I stop my sentence? Hmm, yes, I stop my sentence with a period. Congratulations, yes, I stop my sentence with a period. I start my sentence with a capital letter. Now, I'm gonna write you a sentence and you can help me with some P's in it. So I have a friend named Piper. Her name is P -P Piper. What letter sound do you think I should start with? Letter P, you write uppercase P because I stop my sentence with the period over there. And when I stop my sentence, I go back to the left. We read from left to right to begin a new sentence with the uppercase letter. And some of you guys know that. You did good. So here's my sentence. Piper picks, you know what Piper likes to pick? Pickles, yes, Piper pick 
pickles. Yes, Piper, pick pickles. Yeah. And how do I stop my sentence again, friends? Yes, I stop it with a period. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look for the letter P's in our message, okay? We're going to look for the letter P's in our message. So we are looking for all letter P's. So if I go back up to the top that says, good morning, school friends, I don't see any peas there. But if I go down here to say, Piper picks pickles, I see some peas. Here's a P right here, friends. It's a uppercase P. Beautiful. And then I have a P right here, a lowercase P right there. And then I have another P right here. So we found some P's in our message. So for my friends at home, you can have whoever takes care of you, like a big brother or a big sister, your mom or your dad, your grandma or your grandpa, have them to help you write. And guess what? Then you can tell them that we always start our sentence with a capital letter and we can stop our sentence with a period. And then we want to write another sentence, we start a capital letter, and then we can find the letters that we know in our morning message. How about that, friends? That's pretty cool. Yes, it is pretty cool. So guys, we have did a few things. We've done some letter names. We've done some letter sounds. We focused on one letter, which is letter P. We gave letter pictures, pictures that begin with letter P. We even did a message that had letter P in it. You guys are on a roll. All right, we're gonna do one more thing together. We're gonna try to figure out problem solving. Problem solving is something that you try to figure out how to make something work, how to make something fit together, or just some ways that like if someone's fighting, how can we help them not to fight anymore? Well, we're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make something fit. So when I think of problem solving, I think of puzzle pieces. I do. I think of puzzle pieces. Miss Thomas has some puzzle pieces right here. And what you are going to do is, friends, you are going to help Miss Thomas figure out how to put the puzzles together. You are going to help me problem solve and making the puzzles fit, okay? Let me get my blue sticky so we can put the pieces together. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, let's say, let's go, Miss Thomas. Let's go. So here we go. I have my first little puzzle piece. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. Can you see my little puzzle piece? Now we got to figure out the pieces that fit around the puzzle piece. Well, you're like, well, how do I do that, Miss Thomas? I'm like, I don't know. We're going to figure it out, okay? I'm going to pull this puzzle piece. Hmm. Do you think that puzzle piece fits? No. Sometimes we got to turn pieces to make them fit. Do you think that puzzle piece fits pretty good? No. So what should I do, friends? Mm, did you say find another puzzle piece? You're right. Let's find another puzzle piece that might work over here. Okay, how about this puzzle piece. Hmm, look at that puzzle piece. Where do you think he can go? Do you think he go at the top? Think he goes on the side? Where do you think he could go? What, oh, do you think he fits right there? Yes, or do you think he fits right there? Do you think he fits at the top or on the side? What do you think? You know what? I think I heard someone say, at the top, Miss Thomas, let's see if he'll fit at the top. And I'm like, you're right. Let's check it out to see if he can fit at the top. Whoa, look at that, friends. Did that puzzle piece fit? Did we kind of solve a little piece of the problem? We did solve a little piece of the problem. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to get some more puzzle pieces? Absolutely, let's find some more puzzle pieces. How about... This puzzle piece, here's another puzzle piece. How can you help me solve it to make it fit? Hmm, let's see, do you think it goes up at the top? Think it goes at the bottom? Think it goes on the side? 
Because sometimes puzzle pieces, we have to turn them, we have to flip them, and then sometimes we have to turn them again. So let's see where you think this puzzle piece fits. Hmm, do you think it fits on the side? Do you think it fits at the bottom? You think it fits right there? It does look like it fits. Do you think it can fit like that if I turn it like that? Hmm, do you think if I turn it this way it'll fit? Yes, it looks like either way, if we kind of turn it, it looks like it will fit right here. Do you think it'll fit right there? Yeah, I think, look at that. Oh my God, friends, you are right. Let me put a little piece right here to see if that puzzle piece fits. Wow, you guys, look at that so far. Our puzzle pieces are kind of fitting together. You ready? Let's see if we can find some more puzzle pieces. Hmm. What about this puzzle piece? You think it'll fit? All right, well, let's see what you think. You think we should put it on this side? Do you think we should put it on that way? Do you think we should put it this way? Hmm. If we turn it around, how do you think it'll fit? Wow, look at that, because I flipped it. I think it fits right there. Wow, or well, does it go right this way? Does it go like that? So it really doesn't matter. We're just sticking it, we're just sticking the puzzle pieces because they're fitting. Look at that, friends. You are helping Miss Thomas figure out the puzzle pieces. You are doing amazing. And that's what we do to solve problems. We just keep trying different ways, and when it works, it works. If it does not work, guess what? We try again, over and over again. All right, let me see if I can find some more pieces that will fit in here. How about, how about the pieces over here? Do you think a piece fit over here? Yes, look at that piece right there, friends. There's a puzzle piece that fits right there. Amazing, look how the puzzle pieces are fitting. I am so enjoying problem solving with a puzzle to put together. Now, do we need some more puzzle pieces? Hey, let me see if I have some more puzzle pieces. Let's see. Hmm. What about right there? No? Don't look like it fits real good? What about right here? No? What about up there? No? What about right there? And if it doesn't, guess what? We can always find another puzzle piece. And if some of the other puzzle pieces need to move, we will move the puzzle pieces out of the way. Does that puzzle piece fit? How about this puzzle piece? Does that fit? Or does the puzzle piece fit like that? Wow, look at that. We just had, we had to turn the puzzle. We had to flip it, turn it around. Guess what? The puzzle piece fits. Yes. Oh my God, you guys are doing so so good with the puzzle pieces. Look at you guys, amazing. I'm loving the puzzle pieces. Look how cool that is. We are solving a problem by putting the puzzle together. Let me see, can we, we do we have some more pieces that we can fit together? Hmm. Wow, does that piece like it fits? Absolutely, Miss Thomas, it like it can fit. Maybe let's try a different color. Hmm. A different color makes it fit. Let's put that together. You guys are doing amazing. Yeah, all Miss Thomas did was I just cut some puzzle pieces out, and I just wanted to make sure that you guys were helping Miss Thomas put this puzzle piece together. You are doing so, so, so good. I love it. So all that tells you guys is that Puzzles, when we put them together, they're fantastic. So let's see if this, these puzzle pieces fit. Those puzzle pieces fit? Absolutely it do. Let's stick this one up here. Let's see if that puzzle piece fits right up in there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You guys almost put the puzzle together. Okay, looks like we might need to change a puzzle piece around. Let's change the green one around. Let's see if... This will go this way. Uh-oh, let's fix that puzzle piece. Uh-oh, it's falling out. Let me just put some more sticky on it. Look at you guys. You're doing fantastic. Let's see if we can change the puzzle piece around. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. Does it look like it's fitting right there? No, it doesn't look like it fits that good. 
but it's okay. Let's turn it back. How about let's turn it back that way? All right. Could we stick that puzzle piece right there like that? No, guess what? Sometimes we don't have a piece that fits and that is okay. Okay, friends, it's time for Miss Thomas to go. I'll see you next time, okay, friends? Bye, see you later.